Bitte. Hey. We don't want no trouble in here. My quarrel ain't with you, mister. I'm looking for those two. Huh? Huh? Oh, God. Jake, so as you can see, we're having a bit of a different video today. We're looking at three Mexican lagers, and Mexican is in these, uh, because none of these beers are actually made in Mexico, but they are Mexican-style lagers. And this whole video came about because of this beer here on the end. This is from Omnipolo. It is their Luz, or Luz. It is a 4.4% Mexican lager in the traditional vessel, which is a glass bottle. And when I saw this about, I thought, that's just strange. Why have Omnipolo done this? There's no, as far as I'm aware, there's no adjuncts or anything in it. It is just a straight up Mexican lager. And then I thought, we've got to put it up against a big dog, Corona Extra. And then there's this strange anomaly here, which is a knockoff version of Corona. And it is made for Audi. It is the, what's it even called? It is the Carista Premium Lager. So the Omnipolo is produced in Sweden. The... Corona, this version is actually produced in the UK, and then this, the fake, the Carista, is brewed in the Netherlands. I don't know who actually brews this for Audi, but Sol is also brewed in the Netherlands, in the, in the is, it, is it the Heineken brewery? Must be. What we have to do is probably try the OG, don't we? Probably table, sorry. We will put Corona, which is a 4.5% beer. Brewed with water, barley, malt, maize, and hops. We'll put it in this little glass here. This tall, taller glass. Should we do aromas on all of them first? So, Corona is in the tall glass. In the butt plug, then, we'll put the fake. The Young Pretender from Audi. The Audi and Lidl have a, a habit of doing this with uh, beers, sort of copying brands. Well, they do it with food and everything. Sort of making them familiar enough where you're, you know what it is. So, the Carista is in the butt plug. And then in the sort of the little snifter, we're gonna do the Luz, which is, as you can already see that it's, well, maybe you can't, but to my eye, it is already a lot hazier than, than these two. Okay then. Whew, this is, I've got such a wobbly setup as always. Those two look virtually identical. And perhaps the Carista is a little bit darker and the Omnipolo has a haze to it. it looks a, sh a shade lighter in color. Let's have a little smell of the old Corona, shall we? It's very grassy. It has got a sort of a freshly opened tin of sweet corn aroma to it. A little bit metallic, but doesn't smell completely awful. Uh, should we go with the Carista next? Let's smell that. Oh, goodness me. That, that, this makes the Corona smell really good. <laughs> it is very skunky. Weirdly, it smells like Green King IPA. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. If the, if the Corona had a little bit of a metallic sort of tinge to it, this smells like a fucking bag of pennies. Interesting. Wildly different. Wildly different. And let's go for the Luz from Omnipolo. I'm not do quite know what to expect with this, really. Oh, well. Chalk and cheese again. That that almost smells just like a sort of a, a session IPA or, or, a, or a standard pale ale. A lot hoppier than the other two. It is grassy. It's almost got a bit of a sort of a menthol character going on with it. But it's all it's all sort of citrus hop aromas. Interesting. So already very different. Let's go for a taste. Proofs in the tasting. Cheers. Sorry, I forgot to say I was drinking the Corona first. It sort of is what it is, really. It's cold and wet. Very non-offensive. A little bit skunky. Again, that metallic tinge. Tastes a bit like off-brand cornflakes. Mixed with some mm, some grass or something. But oh, no, not bad, not undrinkable. Let's go for the Carista. Cheers. Yeah. 
this one is not good. There's a sort of a lemon lime character to it, but it's going more towards the sort of uh, like kitchen cleaner spray route rather than sort of fresh or nice citrus. Incredibly skunky, incredibly metallic. The worst thing about it is I had to buy it in a free pack as well. So I'm going to have to sort of make shandies or something like that. Ugh. It, it sort of doesn't finish. The, the one thing about the Corona, it does finish sort of sort of dry and crisp. This is sweet and flabby and not great. Mmm. Why don't I go for another sip? Let's go for the Luz then. What's this going to be? Oh, they're very gassy. They are gassy. Cheers. Well, we've, it, it probably goes without saying that this is the best of the three. But Mexican lager? It doesn't even taste like a lager to me. There's a real hot bitterness to it. It is To me, it's tasting like a session IPA. Where a sort of thin body, almost like a hop, hop tea in a way. I'm getting this really sort of herbal medicinal aftertaste. Almost, There's almost a bit of smoke in there or something. It's a, it's, it's a weird one. It's very nice. Definitely the most drinkable in it. And compared to these two, it's fucking great. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't def I wouldn't even define it as a lager. Yeah, like I said, it is damn tasty compared to these two. But it's still a sort of just a bit of a it's a bit of a strange brew, really. I mean, you can tell from the aroma how hoppy it is compared to the other two. So I think if you if you're looking at this from a Mexican lager standpoint, then probably Corona has to take it. Even though this the Omnipolo is a much tastier beer. Do not buy this cheap imitation. Sometimes the imitations at Audi are just as good as the version it's trying to knock off. But in this case, that is not good. It is poor. Ugh, it really is not very nice. Let's have the Corona. So there you go. The winner of this Mexican lager standoff is Corona. Yay! It had to be really, didn't it? Yeah, this this wasn't lagery enough. And this was just shit. So Corona sort of wins by default. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on any of these beers if you had them. I used to be a regular Corona drinker back in the day, but it used to be a little wedge of lime poked in there. So let me know your thoughts. I've been Jake. Remember to like and subscribe, watch more videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Uh, cheers.